three fiftieths. Oh, it's not a calculated paper, so I have to use equivalent fractions. That's the same as six out of a hundred. So that would be 0 0.06, 6 divided by 100. 2 ninths, well if I don't know it, I'll do 9 going into 2.0000 and just do some long division. So this is 2 divided by 9. Does 9 go into 2? No. Remain to 2. And the decimal point goes above the decimal point. Does 9 go into 20? Yes, it goes 2 times. 2 nines, 18. Remain to 2. Does it go into 20? Well, it's exactly the same. It's going to be 2, remain to 2 forever so it's going to be 0 0.2 recurring and put a dot over the 2. We've got to work out 5 squared times 5 to the power of 5. Well that's 2 5's times together times by 5 more so that would be 5 to the power of 7 to 5 by 5 to the power of 4. And I've got 7 5 all, 5's all times together on top divided by 4 5's times together on the bottom and so that'll be 5 cubed so I've got seven of them, four of them will cross out with four of them up here and leave them just three. And five times five is 25, times by five is 125. Finally, I've got fractions to do. I want to turn it into top heavy fractions, I think. So three is nine thirds plus one is ten thirds. Take away uh, the six sixths in one, plus five six makes eleven sixths. I need the bottoms to be the same, so I'm going to times top and bottom of this one by 2 to get 20 over 6. Minus 11 over 6 is 9 over 6. But the question says give it in its simplest form. And I'll lose a mark if I don't say that that is 1 and a half. Because uh, if you get 1 and 3 6, you can cancel the 3 6 down to a half. So the answer is 1 and a half for question 1.